visit my friend, YouTube friend, Fueled by Fruits. Check out her channel, really good recipes, and this time I'm going for the vegan stew. Welcome to The Maltese Vegan. I'm definitely going to be winging it because I don't have half or two quarters of the ingredients uh, mentioned in recipes. I've got dates to replace the prunes. There are, you need two five oh grams of prunes. I'm using like a fifth of that amount um, in dates because I'm afraid it's going to be too sweet and I don't mind if it's not if it's relatively soupy compared to what you meant to get with the recipe. And I'm using uh, red wine. Um, I haven't drunk an alcohol in ages, but the reason why I'm making an exception is because when you cook, most if not all of the alcohol is evaporated. I have some leftover uh, prune puree, which I'll you know put in some water there, shake it, and get what's left of it. At least I get some prunes in there. Um, unfortunately, I used it yesterday for the brownies which I made, and so none left and no prunes in the cupboard. So there's the blended dates and there's the um, remaining prune juice mixed with a bit of water. So those will go into the tube. So I've very roughly chopped, in fact I haven't chopped at all, the onions, just oh, peel them. And those will go into the freezer so that when I'm cutting them afterwards I won't be wetting my laptop or mobile and shorting the circuits. I meant with my tears. About 100 grams of lentils, that's less than half of what is suggested in the recipe. That's all I have. Rinsing, and then I'll just let that drain. There's the chopped garlic, that's 250 grams of mushrooms, again, less than half the amount in the recipe. One medium chopped onion. So I finally got everything together. There's the chopped up onion, it's one medium onion, as I said. There's, but I've, <laughs> I think this recipe is going to end up being a disaster because I've got, like, as I said, less than a quarter of the ingredients. Instead of uh, Marmite, I'm going to be using miso. Instead of soy sauce, I'm going to be using tamari. Close enough. I've, I don't have any bouillon either, so I'm not even stock or, or vegetable stock, so I'm gonna just be using uh, Himalayan salt, not much of that because I don't like salt to be there. Uh, mustard, that's okay. I'm gonna be really cleaning out my fridge because I've got this remaining uh, tomato puree, I'm gonna also use that. Um, bay leaf, thyme, and instead of red wine vinegar, I'm using apple cider vinegar so it's gonna be quite a different recipe I'll let you know how it turns out so I've added a bit of water instead of oil and boiling that before I put throw in the onions and saute them I always do this I leave it on really high and it ends up, ends up burning I've caught it just in time so at least you just caramelize the bits Comment below if this happens to you very often too. So that's sautéing. Putting the garlic, use the top of a jar so I don't stay dirty and any other stuff. This is going to the bin anyway. So you see some of the onion and garlic uh, sticking to the bottom of the pan and browning. That's called font. You actually want that. You don't want it to get burnt, but as soon as you start seeing that, then it's good to add the water of the recipe. In this case, it's one cup and a half for my uh, version, and it's kind of scrape the bottom because that gives the stew or soup. It's well, it's not the only thing, but it gives quite a lot of flavor to the soup itself. I've added a bit of water to the jar. I'm gonna close it, shake it a bit, and throw that in the soup also. So that's how we don't waste anything. Now the lentils go in and go the herbs, one teaspoon of thyme and 
one bay leaf. I'm gonna have to cover this for the lentils to cook, um, which means I'm gonna have to dirty the top. So sad. I knew I forgot the cloves. Uh, don't forget to, to add those too when you added the herbs. Okay, so now that the lentils are cooked, I'm gonna add 100 milliliters of red wine. I think that red wine is much stronger and also since I'm doing half the portion then it makes sense to put much less wine. Don't forget to remove the bay leaf, put dirt it off to the side and throw in the mushrooms which I think I could have chopped a bit more finely but what the heck. I've ruined most of the recipe so why not continue. Now I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of uh, miso instead of the marmite. I'm probably gonna have to add a bit more than this. I'm gonna have to add one teaspoon of mustard. Now I'm adding half a tablespoon of um, tamari sauce. <coughs> soy sauce. I'm not gonna add any salt because I've already added uh, and directly some salt through the miso and the uh, soy and tamari sauce. I might taste it and then I'll see if it needs any salt, but probably I'll leave that out. Okay, so then I'll let the mushrooms to cook a bit. In fact, they've already uh, shrunken a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna add the remainder of the puree, the prune puree, puree and the dates, date puree. Get a whiff of that. Mmm, smells delicious. Whew. Those wine fumes are getting me high already. And actually, now I just thought of adding some broken uh, spaghetti, whole wheat spaghetti, into the the mix. I don't. I know it's not part of the original ingredients, but I think it would first of all add carbs to the dish. Secondly, it would be more filling, and thirdly, it will thicken up where the prune won't be thickening up since it won't be going into the stew since I don't have any in the first place. I only added about 100 grams and this is how small I left them. And now I'm covering that for about 5 minutes cooking time. One word of warning since once you add the pasta you add quite a lot of starch to the base um, it can start burning at the bottom, so keep a watchful eye on it. Um, I kind of caught it just in time, so I think five minutes cooking time was just right. But just keep an eye out of it. Now I'm gonna add the date puree that goes all in there, and what's left of the prune puree that was maybe one teaspoon, but mixed with lots of water. So now I'm mixing, making sure it's well blended in and I'm going to add the last ingredient, one teaspoon of cider vinegar. That's more like half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar actually. That goes in, mix a bit more and cook slightly more making sure that the pasta has cooked well through and you can just eat, serve, do whatever you please. Honestly, one problem with this, it's looking too beef-like, too meat-like, but I've got to be honest, it tastes effing delicious. So the verdict, mm, I liked, it's warming. But definitely use prunes, don't use dates. A bit too sweet. Not that I hate sweet, but when you're expecting savory soup and it's sweet, hmm, not too good. <laughs>